So here we have the Nissan Qashqai 1.2 Tecna on a 16 plate. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car and then I'm going to hop in and show you some of the controls on the inside. As you'll see from the outside, it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows around the rear of the car. Uh, let's start off inside the boot and then we'll work our way around the rest of it from there. So you'll see as we approach the back of the car, this one has got reversing sensors. It also has a camera as well, which I'll show you on the inside of the car. It's got a 60-40 split folding rear seat and this uh, carpet area, if you like, or this tray, divides into two sections and removes to reveal the full boot space of the car. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run through the controls. But now that I've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in really great condition the whole way round. Just before I hop in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, you've got full leather interior. Uh, those seats are actually fully electric as well. Uh, and there's plenty of other bits to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter and oil temperature gauge, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, we've got the trip computer. You can change the information that's displayed up on there. Uh, obviously, there's lots of different bits of uh, fuel economy information and what have you, tyre pressure warning, the music you're listening to. Uh, one of the most useful pieces is that bit that I had up first of all, which is a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, at the bottom of that section, you'll see the total miles on this car are only 6,877. And you'll see at the top, the symbols just here. Uh, they are in relation to lane departure warning system on the far right. Uh, this one here in the middle will help you keep distance when the cruise control is set on. It will maintain distance between you and the car in front. And then you've got a blind spot monitoring system on the far left. So if there's a car in your blind spot and you go to move, uh, this car will warn you that there is another vehicle in your path. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, on the right hand side we've got cruise control and speed limiter and on the left hand side we've got the stereo controls and the buttons I was using a moment ago for the trip computer just there. The main stereo system where you pair your phone up is in the centre here. So as well as pairing up a phone you've got satellite navigation on here as well. Once you pair up the phone you can make and receive phone calls but you can also stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth. Uh, while we're on the subject of music this car's got FM, AM and DAB digital radio the CD player, which I mentioned, and an auxiliary and USB plug-in as well. So loads of ways of listening to music. Uh, one of the best things about this car is the camera system. So it's got front and rear sensors, but if we pop the car into reverse, you'll see we've got a 360 camera. So the image on the right is what's going on behind us. And this is a bird's eye view of the car. Uh, so you can really, I mean, it's a proper 360 camera. And um, if I take it out of reverse a minute and simply press the camera button here, then what we've got is the bird's eye view and a front camera. If I press it again, we've now got the front camera and the front near side wheel, and then back round to the beginning again. Uh, beneath that, we've got dual zone climate control. So you select the temperature independently on the right and left hand sides of the car, hit AC to turn the air conditioning on, uh, and then you can adjust the fan speed in the middle just here. Underneath that, we've got a 12 volt charging socket and the electronic handbrake a six-speed gearbox, and then all the way back in the centre armrest, a second 12-volt charging socket, and the USB and auxiliary plug-ins that I mentioned a moment ago. The last feature I'd like to talk about is the panoramic roof. Uh, it's not a sunroof, uh, more of a window, but it lets in a huge amount of light. Uh, so just opening the blind, you'll see exactly what I mean. And it really does stretch the length of the car, gives you fantastic visibility and lets in a huge amount of light into the car as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to give any of our MJA sites a call. We'd love to hear from you soon.